So today I'm going to talk about baling hay manually. Um, so this is the pile of hay. It's been drying for a few days and I know it's ready because the plantain, otherwise known as fireweed, is nice and crispy. Like that. If your hay is at all damp, you run the risk of uh, fire. The uh, damp hay will spontaneously combust and can burn your barn down. So you need to make sure it's dry before you start. Um, this is the baling box I use. Um, it has a door on the front. It has a base with uh, containers attached and a, a reel of twine on either side, which I put through the guide eyelets at the back, drape across the bottom of the box carefully, and then feed through eyelets at the front. And we're gonna stuff hay into this box. So to stop the string pulling through, I do a, a sort of slip knot on the front. So take the ends, tie them together like that. And to release this knot, when I'm ready, I just pull these loose ends here. Okay, so check the uh, strings laid nicely. And then we can start putting uh, bundles of hay into the box. So you push the hay straight down so that it doesn't put the string out of line and fold it in from the sides to keep it tight. Right, so that's the first batch, and you just keep doing that. You might be wondering why we didn't get uh, our helpful farmers to do this for us. Um, they're very busy, and they have their own hay to deal with, so you will get the hay done when it's convenient for them, rather than when it's best for your particular batch of hay. Um, so we cut in small batches and bale like this and then we have beautiful hay that will keep our Hebridean sheep topped up with feed throughout the winter. Um, and just keep going like this. I do keep the um, hogweed as well because the sheep like it, but I tie it separately because it's a bit prickly in the bales. Right. So when it presses down to just below the surface of the box, I get a the stool because I'm a bit short. I undo this slip knot that I tied earlier. And then get my foot in the box and compress the hay nicely. All right, and you need to make sure the string's tight, so pull the string from the back till this front one runs through cleanly. And the same with this one. Uh, get the knife that I have in my pocket here. And then I just Tie a bow, hold it tightly together. Right. So then we can open the door. Roll the bale out, just checking that the string is in a nice place. And there you go, one handmade hay bale. <laughs>